This is a 2005 Land Rover Range Rover. This is just a quick uh, video about the hood latch. So on the inside, you try to pull the latch and, and the hood does not pop uh, up. So we were able to, with a pair of pliers, pull on some cable that was left over to get it up. So this will be a quick video how you can replace that cable if it breaks at the handle uh, underneath the dash. All right, let's do it. We can go ahead and pop this up. It should just pop like that and then separate out. So inside the car, you have the latch right here. Now there may be a little cover here. This was already gone, um, but it looks like it just clipped in. So first, what you can do, there's a Phillips screw right there. We take that out. And then this was broken, so that's the end. Uh, and then the cables somewhere lying in here. Uh, but that's okay, we don't need it right now. So now this little panel needs to come off, so we got this thing here. Let's see if I can get it one-handed to show you. Just take a screwdriver, pop it up. And then it reveals a 10 millimeter right there. And then this whole thing should pop out. So now that that's out of the way, we can get behind the carpet. And you can see that grommet right there. So it'll come out this direction inside the car, um, but that gives us access. Now let's go into the hood. So on the driver's side, uh, there's a little junction or a union right here. So you just wanna take a flathead screwdriver and pop that lid open. There we go. Then you can see right there, that's where the two cables come together. So we wanna just get this one out of its little slot. And then the whole cable, it runs under here and back underneath the brake booster, but you got plenty of room to put your hand in there. And you just follow the cable and then push that grommet out and then pull it out from inside the vehicle. You just wanna line up the uh, new one with the old one and just make sure that they're gonna be uh, similar length. The new one came with a new piece here. So you can just take it out of here um, and separate it, or you can replace this little thing. It's just a couple of bolts and that pops out. You see it's just these torques, uh, those three, and then the whole thing comes out so the new one can just slap right on um, in place of this. So these bolts are a T30. comes out and then the new one can just slap on and you want to feed it through that hole feed it through the hole and then uh, put it on here now if the new one fed through and bolted on now we can go ahead and put our kick panel bolt your bolt back in put our little piece here back on All right, and now we can put our lever back on. We'll just screw that in real quick. Now that's uh, bolted in, so you have lever action. Uh, if you had a little cover piece here, put that back on. And then last, we'll put this trim piece back on. One thing to be aware of is that these do slide in their channel, so if you're having trouble, um, lining them up with their slot uh, you can go ahead and slide them to get them locked in all right last thing to do is just hook the cable up on this end close that up and then give it a good test well there you go that's how you can replace the hood latch cable uh, not too difficult on these vehicles they make actually the access pretty uh, sweet so sweet thanks for watching like subscribe see you on the next one